Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is going to be the top 10 mods of the week for all platforms. Um, if you guys have not already, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel down below or follow me on Facebook if you're not already following me on Facebook so you don't miss any future videos. I do post videos both to Facebook and YouTube, so make sure you guys check it out. But this is going to be the top 10 mods that are available on the Mod Hub for all platforms. So no matter what you're playing on, these are all available to you. So let's go ahead and take a look at the top rated mods by you guys this week for all platforms. All right, for number one this week, we have the Metal Tech TB pack. This is by Melody98, 36.06 megabytes to download for all platforms. Currently rated five out of five stars with 31 people having rated it. Um, this is a really cool trailer pack. There's a lot of different options available in terms of what trailers are available. So no matter what kind of size farm you're working on, I think that this will work really well for you. So we're actually gonna hop in the store and take a look at the different trailers in this pack. So in the Metal Tech pack, we have a total here of, oh goodness, that's four, five, six, seven, eight trailers in here, all the way from the TB6 up to the TB20 Premium, which holds 29,000 liters. That's the one you saw out there. And then we also have this guy at the beginning that holds 8,500 liters. So again, tons of different stuff in terms of different sizes. So basically whatever you're kind of looking for, um, it's gonna be available to you. So um, the premium versions, I'm not sure exactly what's gonna be super different in terms of those, um, cause we have, again, it looks like they just hold a little bit more essentially but if we come in here we can adjust the wheel size on there as well we can also do different designs on there as well which is pretty cool as well um we can change you know the uh, stickers on there and we can do a cover yes or no so a lot of options and a resident or uh, excuse me a registration plate if you'd like to or a license plate on there as well so a lot of different cool customizations for these trailers but there you guys go that is the metal tech tb pack a nice pack of trailers by melody 98 for all platforms all right, for number two this week, we have the Case IH 1255-1455 XL. This is by Soli. It is 25.53 megabytes to download for all platforms. Currently rated 4.6 out of five stars with 127 people having rated it. Uh, personally for me, I think this is a really cool tractor just because it's kind of an older school case, um, kind of as well mentioned basically for you. Uh, but uh, yeah, so it's a really cool case. I have kind of this vintage red on there as well. So I think just that alone with all the customizations available for you, um, this is a really cool tractor. And it's a decent amount of horsepower. This will run between 125 and 145 horsepower. And it's only gonna cost you uh, $48,500 to buy. You can do beacons on it. You can do a light bar on it. As you can see here, horns, a custom exhaust, air filter on the front. Um, again, the colors you can adjust. I really like these wide tires with the weights on them. And you can put a front three point link on there as well as if you'd like to. So uh, a lot of really good customization, a really good tractor for uh, kind of your small to medium farm. So there you guys go. That's the Case IH 1255 1455 XL tractor. All right, for number three this week, we have the Lizard Mech Fiber 365 Feeder Wagon. This is by 4D Modding, Erie Agri Modding, 15.32 megabytes to download for all platforms, currently rated 4.8 out of five stars with 63 people having rated it. Um, this is pretty straightforward. It's a small kind of compact feeder wagon. Yes, it is a feed mixer, so it'll mix your uh, total mixed ration or uh, TMR um, with it. Um, it also has a very low horsepower requirement, so that's kind of nice. You can kind of use it on your small to medium farms. Um, and I think this honestly is really well suited, um, especially back for reading the description, I guess I should say as well, uh, for kind of your UK style farm. So I think it's be perfect for that. Um, it only costs you $43,000 to buy and has a capacity of 22,800 liters. So perfect, again, for that small kind of cow farm that you got going. So there you go. That's the Lizard Mech Fiber 365 feeder wagon. Moving on to number four this week, we have the Lizard MSL tank. This is by Jean FS, uh, Fionis R. Silva. 8.38 megabytes to download for all platforms, currently rated 4.8 out of five stars with 56 people having rated it. There are two different trailers in this pack. The one you're seeing out here is the smaller one. This is the Lizard MSL 2500. It holds, as the name suggests, 2500 liters. Um, you can adjust the tire configurations, wheel colors, main colors, um, and the adhesive configurations on there as well. It only costs you $4,000. There's also a swivel axle version, the Lizard MSL 3500, which is 8,000 to buy and holds 3,500 liters and has similar configurations. But regardless of that, nice little kind of really well detailed smaller tank for your smaller farms. But there you go. That's the Lizard MSL tank. For number five this week, our first placeable of the week, we have the Farm Gate Pack. This is by FSG Modding, FSG Tasman. 8.74 megabytes to download for all platforms, currently rated 4.7 out of five stars with 63 people having uh, rated them. Um, so this has a bunch of different gates, as you can see out there. Now, some of these are red and yellow and some other odd colors. Um, a lot of those ones that have those ones, like the one out front, the red one and that kind of yellow one back there, at least those three there, um, you can adjust the color. So you can change the color when you're in the build mode, which is a feature I think a lot of modders kind of figure out or forget about, and a lot of players honestly forget about exists as well. So it's really cool. You can really customize these 
uh, to kind of fit with whatever kind of farm look you're looking for. So this is probably one of my favorite gate packs that I've ever seen come out in the mod hub. So it's really well done. But there you guys go. That is the farm gate pack by FSG modding FSG Tasman. For number six this week, you guys are seeing part of my map tour of the map Frontier. This is a map by Zero Wido. It is 765.05 megabytes to download for all platforms. It is currently rated four out of five stars with 381 people having rated it. Um, this is a really cool map. Um, it honestly almost feels like three maps in one. It almost has a futuristic feel to it, yet a modern feel to it, um, yet kind of a vintage feel to it. it. It's seriously so interesting. It's one of my favorite maps I think I've ever seen come out on Farming Simulator 22, and I don't say that lightly. I seriously believe that. Uh, very cool map. Um, it has a lot of fields on it. You can do some oil work on it, lots of custom uh, products on it that you can do, and there's plenty of room to farm, and you could even build your own farm on part of it as well, so it's really cool. Uh, but yeah, there you guys go. Make sure you guys check out my map tour. Uh, this is Frontier by Zero Oido. For number seven this week, we have the Welker Farms Shed Pack. This is by The Subby and Mappers Paradise. It is 53.93 megabytes to download for all platforms, currently rated 4.8 out of five stars with 63 people having rated it. Um, there are a lot of different sheds in this pack. My favorite one is out in front of you right now. I think it's a really cool kind of custom shed with a, a workshop trigger and everything inside of it. But I do want to hop into the build menu here just to show off some of the other sheds in this pack. So if we go in here and we scroll over to the side here, we have this one as I showed you out there. We have the smaller one right here, which would be perfect for kind of your small, like almost like a garden shed there. Um, we have this guy right here, which is great as well. Has a little fenced in area on the side. Uh, this kind of nice tunnel. Um, it looks like not a drive through tunnel, but you have that one on the front there, uh, which is pretty cool. We also have this guy right here. Um, and then we have this guy right here. So this one has a few doors on it and everything like that. But um, again, they're from the Walker Farms map, um, which is pretty cool. So if you uh, watch Walker's Farms or anything like that, this will kind of uh, relate to you there. But uh, really cool to see this come out as it's kind of its own shed pack. So I really like that. But there you guys go. That's the Walker Farms Shed Pack. All right, for number eight, for all of you wood chipping guys out there or gals, uh, this is the Lizard Diamond 2000. This is by Vectorman. It is 49.80 megabytes to download for all platforms. Currently rated 4.8 out of five stars with 51 people having rated it. It's currently in its unfolded configuration. As with anything Vectorman does, it is extremely well detailed. Um, so very well done on it, honestly. Really well done, very well detailed. Um, and it's perfect for any of you guys that want to do a lot of wood shipping. It is a bit pricey at $750,000, but it does have a whopping 768 horsepower and can drive at 50 miles per hour. It has several steering modes and several customizations and configurations that you can choose uh, to kind of adjust it however you want. But there you go. It makes wood chips for you. Pretty cool. That's the Lizard Diamond 2000 by Vector Man. And number nine for you New Holland fans out there, specifically kind of more vintage New Holland fans, we have the New Holland D800 D1000 Baylor. This is by 40 modding and Airy Agri modding, 35.89 megabytes to download for all platforms, currently rated 4.7 out of five stars with 105 people having rated it. There are two bailers in this pack and a bail wrapper in this pack, so there's quite a bit to check out. Um, you can kind of customize it and do what you want to do between the uh, D800 and the D1000, but a really cool kind of older school square bailer uh, from, you know, just New Holland. So yeah, if you're working for, or looking for doing kind of like a more vintage farm setup, or you like to run New Holland equipment, this is the perfect pack for you. So there you guys go. That is a New Holland D800 D1000 Baylor. All right, for number 10 this week, we have the Lizard 65116. This is a nice little truck, as you can see here, by Army Hall. It is 57.36 megabytes to download for all platforms, currently rated 4.8 out of five stars with 51 people having rated it. Um, it's going to start you off in the price of 56490 as horsepower 305, and you can adjust the color and kind of some different configurations on it in terms of, I believe, a few tires on it, and you can also adjust that weird kind of fin thing I put on it. You can adjust the color of that, and you can get rid of it if you don't want it on there. But really cool mod. Nice little truck for you. Uh, perfect for kind of your small to medium farms, maybe even your large farms if you wanted to do it that way. But there you guys go. That is the Lizard 65116. And... That is our top 10 mods for the week. If you guys enjoyed this video, again, drop a like down below. If you haven't already, make sure you guys follow me on Facebook and subscribe or hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join me on YouTube as well. And yeah, without further ado, that's what I got for you guys. That is the top 10 mods for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next week.